pouring from the wisdom that God has placed in his soul. Wisdom that has been able to calm not only David, but it calmed King Saul that tried to kill David. David was so good with this gift that God gave him, the man on the other side of the room wanted to kill him. David would be on the other side with his little heart playing and singing. God was so good to David. They said David would play until he closed his eyes. You ever see anybody playing the guitar? They just like, hey, hey. they just playing, <laughs> eyes closed. Folk playing the piano. They just in their zone. Folk on instruments in their zone. They talked about a story when David was playing the heart to calm Saul. David knew Saul wanted to kill him. God told him that. But said David was playing and Saul threw a spear at him. But right before the spear hit him, David in his closed eyes hit a good... Y'all saw that? Matrix. <laughs> he hit a good note uh -huh. on that harp and said the spear missed it. Right. Y'all hear that, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, he hit yeah, a good yeah. just... <laughs> something, like that, something like that. But at some point, even though David was seriously using his gift from God, even in the midst of danger, even in the midst of folk that tried to kill him, God still protected him. Hallelujah. It's not for you to believe, it's just for you to know that if you're doing what God has called you to do, come on, come on, God come will on. protect you even if you're in the same room with your killer. Right. First thing we need to look at in this scripture when it comes to praising the Lord is verse 24. He has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither has he hid his face from him. When he cried unto him, he heard. Uh, what, what does it mean to be abhorred? Hey, Amen. That's one of the good thesaurical words. Hey, thesaurical. I made that up. <laughs> I abhor you. You know, you, for folks to understand, you hear a lot of these words on cartoons. Hey, Amen. Right. I abhor you. What that means, I'm past hate. Come on, I'm, I'm past dislike. I'm, I'm into that, that part of, I had to go find this word in the dictionary to make sure you understand. I don't like you real bad. Right. And understand, what if God, our God of grace and God of mercy, abhors you? Not only does God abhor you, but God abhors the affliction, the sin that you have in your body. God does not hate what God created. Right. God hates God's creation. Creating sin. Wow. Y'all get that? Yeah. Parents don't dislike their kids. They dislike when their kids do bad stuff. Right, right. Parents, amen, don't dislike their kids when they get grown. They just don't like the fact that the grown kids invite all this foolishness into their, their lives. lives. It's not the kid, it's what they're doing. Right. Amen. Even if we look at Whitney Houston, the girl can sing. She had a gift. She was wonderful. I know a lot of folk blamed it on Bobby. I didn't want brother down with well, she walked right down there with the brother. Right. And at some point, when people say, baby, you still gifted, it wasn't Whitney that we didn't like. And I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't Bobby that we didn't like. It, it was, was the, the habit. They choose. Right. They chose to use. That's right. That's right. It was the drugs. It, it was the fact that once they were under the influence, we didn't like who they became. That's right. And don't you understand? Once you're under the influence of sin, God doesn't like who you become. Once you're under the influence of sin, God don't like the way you act. God is saying, you are better than this, babe. I created you better. I gave you gifts. You don't have to do what you're doing. At some point, God is saying, I abhor who you are. Right. There's a little piece way down in there I love that's in you, but that rest of that, you keep that. Yeah, save that. Even though God is in that place between us and our sin, the scripture says... He, amen, he or she, that person that's a boy, when they cry out to God, God will say, what do you need, my child? Right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Man, how, what, what, how many drugs does it take for a parent to give up on their child? Wow. How, how much bad life and crime does it take for a parent to say, baby, I, I just can't. I, I can't, baby. I, I, I can't put my house up no more. I can't put myself through no more. I'm praying for you. Right. I still love you, but I just have to leave you over there. But don't you understand the God of glory and God of grace is bigger than anything that you're going through? Yes, God. God is so big and God is so awesome. God is saying, you know, it don't matter how deep in sin you are, I will get down in the meek and marry clay with you. Sit there with you until you are willing to get up. Yes. Right. Sometimes we think, amen, that when we fall into sin, God come down, amen, like Superman, and pick us up out the sin. 
Não, 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 não